Hey there, welcome back. I have a special, well, three special guests in this video. We got Chester, we got Oliver, and we have Anthony. And that's because there's a cat DNA testing that's being done. So we'll see if they cooperate. Probably not. The little one's leaving already. This is for base paws. I did a little sneak peek into this a couple months ago, and I have the test results back from the reports. It is a DNA testing, just like how I did like Ancestry and Me, and and the 23andMe, actually Ancestry DNA and 23andMe. This is very much like 23andMe. It is pricey. It's $99 for a kit that gets you their breed. Obviously, we know what breed we have. They're Persians. Please do not come at me in the comments. I know I have designer cats, but I also have rescued six cats, three adult seniors, and then three kittens. So I wanted a couple Persians. I'll probably, we'll have more cats in the future that aren't designers, but this is something I've wanted for a very long time and I have them and they make me happy. So they're gonna be Persians. I'm sure the test, well, they could come back with other breeds in them. Chester was a clearance kitty. I don't for sure know if he's a full Persian, but they look like it. You don't even know cats at all, so I, you I don't, can't give me an opinion. But we have dogs. If you have Persians yourself, I'm pretty sure they look like Persians. Also, I forgot to mention, I gave Chester a haircut, so he looked a little weird, I'm sure, when you just saw him. I gave him a scissor cut, and it didn't turn out well, but it's growing and fluffy, and he actually <laughs> looks pretty cute. So, anyways, enough rambling. I'm gonna pull, we both have our laptops, so... You can do Chester's and I'll pull Oliver's and we'll just compare and contrast. I think at the moment they are just in the process of doing like DNA as far as what breeds they are, but they're also doing like health reports and genetics and like characteristics. But I think that's like coming later in 2019 when I was reading about it. I was sent these test as a review and so that's what I'm giving you today but I also want to do a little more research on um, what the company was about and because they're just so small at the moment and starting their testing I don't think they have the health reports yet but as the time goes on like you already like once you do the kit like you're a lifetime member and they're gonna give you those health reports it just might take a little longer and the price will go up as like the reports become available but if you get it now as far as what I was reading, like you are a like grandfathered in member. When you first get your kit, you will be sent in the mail a little box. It's probably the size. I'll do like video inserts because I took some videos of it. And you do their DNA swab test, and it's very easy. I was nervous at first because they're cats; they don't, don't understand. I can't be like, oh, I'm going to put a cotton swab in your mouth. Stay still. Um, but you don't need that much saliva, and you just put it right in their cheeks. Surprisingly, Chester was fine with it. Um, Oliver was the one that I struggled with, which I expected the opposite. Um, and then once you do that, you just send it, it's already a prepaid box, you put it in the mailbox, and then it takes them a couple months to get the results in. Uh, I got mine, I think, in like end of April, and I sent it in like beginning of March, and it's just taken me a couple months to get this video up. But anyways. I have Chester's report and Oliver's. I'm gonna open Oliver's. You open Chester's. You don't put anything in like when you're doing it as far as what breed they are or anything. I didn't put any of that in. I was like, if they're gonna tell me, I'm not gonna like give any hints. So let's open. And this is the first time I'm looking at this. So mine says Oliver's genetic report. I will put like photos in so you guys can see this too. And then it gives you a contents page of how to interpret the report summary, breeds group. Oh no. 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 This, no. 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Well, the first thing it's saying your cat is most similar to these breeds. Number one breed Oliver is similar to is Russian Blue. What's your number one breed? A Russian Blue. That's not a Russian Blue. Your number two is a Russian Blue. Oh, that's blue. number two. So Can his is saying it? his number one's a British Short Hair. Oh. And his number yes. two is a he doesn't have a Persian on there at all, and he's on Chester's. That doesn't make any sense. 
or maybe it does, I don't know, because I got Chester off of Craigslist. <laughs> it wasn't from a breed, it was just a house. And they didn't show me the pairings. Though it says your cat is more similar to these wild cats. Yeah. Cheetah was number one for Chester. Oliver had a leopard. Chester <laughs> was a leopard and number two. And Oliver was a cheetah. And number three for both of them was a tiger. And number and four a was a cougar. cougar. <laughs> this doesn't make sense though. I don't understand. <laughs> Chester didn't get a Persian at all on there. You guys know what he looks like. I mean, it doesn't look exactly like other Persians, but I've been on, like, doll-faced Persians. He looks very, very similar. Okay, the next um, page gives you a chromosome map, and I don't know how to interpret this. There is a page on how to interpret it. <laughs> it's interpreted by breed groups. So there's Western, Eastern, Hybrid, and Polycat. Um, they're the four major groups of cats. Um, and then the breed groups, looking at the chromosome map, it'll tell you a percentage based on Western, Eastern, Hybrid, or, or Polycat. Um, so Western breeds including British Shorthair, Russian Blue, Siberian, Persian. And the Westerns like Europe and like United States area. The Eastern, what they were saying is more so like Asia. Um, I don't remember what hybrid was. Polycat, they don't know much about yet, which they're still doing a lot of research on. So, Chester is 23.61% Western and 28.65% Eastern. Oliver's 21% Western, 24% Eastern, but both of them, Polycat has the most. They're 35% <coughs> for Oliver and 33% for Chester. So of the Western breed, it then gives you a percentage of more similar than this particular type of cat. So Chester being most similar to a British short hair, according to the genetic test. You know what's not fair is that I just cut his hair to look like a short hair cat. So you guys might be seeing this being like, oh, I can see that. But I'm going to show you his normal face and it's not a British short hair saying more similar than 97.51% of the cats in our database. And they're saying Oliver's more similar than 99.23% of Russian blue cats in their database. He's not a Russian... I mean, he has that blue coat, but he's not a Russian blue. They don't know what our cats look like either. So this report feels very generic. I think that's probably because they're just, like, this is a newer, newer concept, I assume. I don't know. I feel like a uh, DNA test for dogs would be a little more telling. I'm just really confused. <laughs> but it also, okay, here's the thing. This is saying that he is similar to 99% of Russian blues, but he's also Oliver is similar to 98.66% <laughs> of Persians. So they are saying that he's a Persian, but on Chester's, they're not saying that. Right? Did you have Persian on there at all? Hmm. No, it says the assignment of your cat to the breed groups is not determined by a genomic composition, but rather by the specific breed that your cat is most similar to. So it's really just looking at what genes and what commonalities they share across all cats. I have, you guys don't know Shadow, and for some reason I don't have him in my videos, but I have a cat at home. I got him when I was a freshman in high school. Um, he's our family cat, and he's like 16 or so. But he looks like a Russian blue, and we got him as a kitten, just, he was a stray. Um, and like, that's the type of cat when you just get like stray cats or from the pound like normal mm -hmm. cats like I think this would be the coolest thing to see because I would want to see oh is he actually like does he have Russian blue in him or does he just look like that you know it's different when you have like a designer cat because you're going into it knowing this already this would be like the coolest thing for like your crazy cat lady friend that doesn't have a designer cat you know like I have my friend Heather would love this um, I would love to do it on my cat at home, though. It would be a good gift. 
They are, yeah, so they are saying Oliver is a Persian. But he also has some Russian blue in him, apparently, from this report. And this will, because, like, I'm in 23 and me. I got, originally, my genetics were saying I was, like, all Scandinavian, pretty much. And then a year later, it changed, and all of a sudden, I was 0% Scandinavian. And I was, what, like, mainly just Swiss and German. So I think this is going to be something similar to where the more research they do, the more it's going to update and possibly change. So maybe we'll see Chester's go into the Persian route, or maybe it will go in a whole different route. Well, his top three are British, short hair, Russian blue, and Siberian. Uh, number four would then be Persian. You know what? That would make sense, though, if he's not a full Persian. Because they're saying he is 79, is that 79% 79 similar? And like I said, I got him on clearance just like from someone's house. Like he was a, they just wanted to get rid of him, you know? So he probably isn't a full person. I was mm -hmm. almost expecting that from this test. I just wasn't expecting it to not be in the top three like that. But Oliver is in the top three. Something else that they can do and what they're working on is they're going to make it so that you can export all of the data and then give it to your vet, which would be helpful in um, doing like health stuff for them like if they are I think they're looking at diabetes and a bunch of other different genetic issues and if you have a cat that has issues you actually might be able to do this for free just so they can do research on your cat off of his DNA we don't yeah none of this has any like genetic stuff they're giving you like oh these are personality traits of this like specific cat breed but they're not giving you your cat specific personality traits like on 23andMe is saying you probably have a dislike of salty foods or other weird things like that or you have like a widow's peak or attached ear lobes yeah and they're going to be doing that with the cats they just don't have that out yeah i think they said in a couple of months they're going to have those um could be up to a year though but they will come and you won't have to do any other testing because they already have um all their dna in the lab interesting what we know is chester is a hybrid it looks like i don't know <laughs> for sure <laughs> what all he is i'm curious to know if, if this updates on both of those because i would have expected persian to be number one regardless and it wasn't i also expected um is himalayan i think that's different than persian i expected that to be on here the neat thing about the report is out of the top few breeds that your cat may consist of, they give you a bit of an overview um, and the breed origins of those top few cats. Um, and then a bit of a genetic predisposition. Um, so they could say that a British short hair is genetically predisposed to kidney disease. Um, so that might be something you may want to look out for if that's one of your top cat breeds. Yeah. So. Like persons I think have, um, their faces are smushed. They have a little more of like breathing issues and I think ma just mainly like their nasal cavities. It also gives a personality overview. Oliver has surprised me so much compared to Chester about how sweet he is and how much he loves like cuddling and he licks your face even though we don't want him to like at night he'll just wake you up by licking your face and purring he is the sweetest little baby chester's sweet in his own way he's just more shy and reserved like he's purring right now and i think it's because he likes is he like i know purring can sometimes be like when they're anxious chester does that sometimes I think overall it is a lot of money um i don't think it's yet i don't think i would suggest spending 99 dollars on it i think once they do all the health genetic type risks and doing let me look up and show you guys what they were actually going to do they're doing wellness so um recommendations recommendations based on your cut's genetics like diet recommendations wellness assessments they're going to do personality predictions catnip um addict likelihood like those are the things where like widow's peak type things physical traits um fun facts about your cat 
and then like the genetic health risk and diseases and what their carrier status for 32 diseases are. That on 23andMe has been my favorite part of the site seeing because it actually gives you like, like it said, I'm more prone to like type 2 diabetes, so make sure that you're exercising regularly and eating properly. I think those are very helpful things to have. They're not out yet though. And the only, I guess the only good thing about getting it now is that you're already locked into that $99 price and you don't have to pay extra. So like when it, it probably will go up, like I know 23andMe, I paid like $180, which is a lot, but but like the reports that you got back on those two sites, they have been tweaked and changed a little bit a over lot, time. So yeah. as more and more people use the service, mm -hmm. it, it will be adding more, more data and it will, uh, they'll be able to predict um, some of these things a little bit better yeah. or at least give you a little more insights uh, into your cat and how it compares against other genomes. So for any of you that have cats that you got from the pound or just as strays, I think that's like really exciting to see because you have no idea what that cat is and like what you have like ideas. Like I think my sister, her cat she got from the pound looks like a Norwegian forest cat. I'd be so curious to know if like that was one of the top ones. Anyways, let me know in the comments below what you thought of this. If you tried any of this for dogs, what your like take on that was. Um, and then I'll just update you guys if anything dramatically updates on their stuff because I might even do like an update on my own uh, genetic report and because it did change a lot from the first time I did the video. Anyways, we are going to head out and I will see you guys super soon. Bye! so cute. Yes. <laughs> oh, your baby. He looks, because of his haircut, looks a little more like a British short hair. Maybe he is. No, he's a Persian. I think he's just a little bit mixed. <laughs> <laughs>